just finishing the last of my coffee before I get going. Uh, I did have cell reception briefly yesterday. Uh, basically, when I could see the Marenzi mine, there was a tower or two I could pick up. I was able to get a hold of Taters briefly. She is going to help me out uh, once I know for sure what day I'm getting to Alma. Uh, she'll see what the overnight options are. Figure I won't take a zero, but it would be nice to be able to shower, do laundry, you know, all those little things. Today's Friday and I'm at mile 310. Alma is at 341. So if I assume, you know, 15 miles a day, uh, I'm going to get there either Saturday or Sunday. I may try and camp close on Saturday, get in on Sunday earlier, so that way I can get an entire day, and then Monday I'm on my way again. It is really so much more pleasant in the evening out here, and early morning. Every time I've gotten a weather report in the last week or so, it keeps popping up with red flag warnings, fire warnings, etc. I should be about 21 miles away from the Arizona-New Mexico border really has felt different since I uh, came out of Eagle Creek. As near as I can tell from the guide, the last 10 miles or so into Alma should be relatively straightforward. There is, however, another one of those sections that's marked a four, which usually means overgrown, hard to follow trail. Yesterday, I basically got saved from not making all my miles by that road walk right at the end. I was able to knock out an extra five miles right at the end of the day. The late start plus the uh, being tired from climbing out of Eagle Creek the day before, plus the route finding difficulties in the uh, cow trail infested hillsides really uh, put me behind. If I could knock out a solid 20 today, I could be in Alma by noon the next day, but that doesn't seem to be the way things work out here. An added complication is there is a note in the guide about usually no reliable water sources for about 15 miles plus into Alma. Now, this year, there have been a lot more flowing sources, but I have hit areas that were just dry for, I think 20 miles is about the max so far. So when in doubt, I pack out a whole bunch of extra water. My pack is lighter now since I'm down to just two dinners and maybe three days of food because I really, really hate running out of water. That tends to make me exceedingly thirsty versus if I have plenty of water, then eh, I could take it or leave it. There is private property out here. Though I didn't hear anybody last night after the uh, ATV went by. Not seeing any uh, fresh footprints or other signs of my friends back there. They must be getting a late start too. So I washed my socks uh, yesterday evening in uh, Pigeon Creek, but I'm starting to get the warning feelings like I've got dust rubbing between the toes, so it doesn't hurt to do it again. So it looks like today and tomorrow is going to involve a bit of climbing. I basically have to get over the side of Maple Peak, and it looks like the 15 mile mark puts me about on top of Maple Peak. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, there is a water source around mile 14. That may be my camp point if I make it that far. Not too bad as forwards go. Only got about knee deep.
Okay, it's either cross country or walk through a ranch, and I'm doing cross country. Okay, climbing time. I'm gonna get spoiled when I have to go back to stock tanks. At that point, I actually ran across Colonel Mustard and Sprouts again. Turns out they'd taken a bit of a road shortcut to get ahead of me that morning. So that was actually pretty decent. I had to uh, get the floaties out of the way, but the water's cold and clear. <laughs> so unfortunately, things are a little awkward here. Uh, my normal 15 mile day would be pretty soon. Uh, that's where uh, sprouts and mustard are probably gonna end up camping. It's only, it's a little before four o'clock and I'm liking the climbing, so I kind of want to go up and over. Unfortunately, the water sources get a little spread out and Alma is a little close. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to see. I still would prefer to go into Alma Sunday and get a good rest out of it. Right now, I actually filled up my full capacity to give myself some flexibility. So I've got two and a half liters on my back. And if I make it another eight miles or so, which should be reasonable, I could actually camp right at the New Mexico-Arizona border, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. There's been a couple of sections of uh, steep climbing, but I've got to say I'm digging the uh, trail. Okay, that means the climb's pretty much done. Now I just gotta get downhill far enough to camp before it gets dark. I was gonna pass the peak by since it's a little ways out here and getting kind of late, but I just couldn't. Yeehaw. So there was a summit register up here. And yeah, Peak Bag and Legends. Not uh, that many people have been up here uh, recently though. Okay, that cost me about 25 minutes. <laughs> Which I could probably use, because if I have to uh, bushwhack down in the dark, that's gonna be less than fun. I do have enough water where I can camp pretty much wherever I need. So I have a couple of options if I don't make it all the way to 3.30. So that's Maple Peak. I uh, seem to have a lack of viable campsites here so far. Okay, 7.08. I'm officially ready to stop, but uh, everything is rocks here. Well, damn. Haven't found anything workable. Everything's rocks. 
Okay, it took about 20 minutes of digging out rocks, but I've got something that'll work. I am just happy to uh, not be stumbling around in the dark anymore.